Welcome back everybody, this is Mr. Fada, and in today's FataCast, I'm going to show you how I can extract an image from a complex background using the lasso tool in PixLar and combining it with my previous Flame Painter paintings. To begin, I'm going to go to PixLar and click on Open Image and open one of my uh, Flame Painters. I'll go with this uh, Flame Painter Difference 02. So here is my flame painter shows up on a single layer. And then I'm going to go to add image and click on browse so that I could browse for a photograph. I'll go with this Zinnia 0570. Now it's going to show up pretty large in the beginning, but what you've got to do is click the corner and drag it towards the center. Then drag it back into the scene. Click the corner and drag it back towards the center. And then drag it back into the scene. And keep doing this several times until you get the subject in the middle of the picture so it's not outside the picture. I don't need that red flower, so that's not going to matter. And then I'm going to select Cut Out, and the menu items will change here. Uh, there's several different tools for the cutout. Magic Cutout for plain white backgrounds. And then other tools. Here I'm going to use the Lasso Cutout. And it changed the mode to remove. The other option is keep. I'm going to select keep because I'm going to select what I want to keep. So I'm going to pick a spot to start and I'm going to click on my mouse and just move my cursor, my trackpad around the flower, creating the contour of the flower. I'm leaving a little bit of the purple outside of my selection so that I don't get any green into my selection. And then I just let go, and there's my flower. And I'm going to integrate or mix or filter the flower into the background scene by selecting the blending modes from my layer settings. There's three little dots in the layers panel. Your layers panel could also look like this, depending on your settings. But then again, here is those three dots. Again, it's this little button here changes the, the mode or the view of the layers and navigate panels. So I'll click on that. And here I see blend mode to the Zinnia layer. And then when I change the blending mode, it starts to change with the, the mode, integrating or blending with the background image. So I could go through these until something strikes me. Like, this is pretty neat. A, a color dodge. Here's the beat. One that I, I, I'm attracted to. So I'll remember color dodge. Color dodge hard light. Color dodge hard light. Color dodge or hard light still seems to be one of my favorites. Color dodge and hard light. But I go through them all just in case. There's something else, and that's actually pretty neat too. Color dodge and hard light, I think I like a little bit better. So let me go back to color dodge. And then check it against hard light. Okay, I'm going to go with color dodge. It's pretty dynamic. Look there. And I want you, or what I'm going to do, is move it off to the center. Okay, I'm going to close that add out. It gets a little annoying there. But I'm going to move it somewhere where I could see it better, maybe, but not in the middle of the picture. Okay, so there's one. Now I'm going to go get another image. Browse. Get another photo. Here's Zinnia 05. And dragging down. And then clicking. And then moving the picture towards the center. Clicking back down. Moving the image towards the center. And clicking back down. You might have to do that maybe two or three times. I can also rotate the picture by grabbing that circle that's at the end there. Okay, so maybe I put this at an angle this time. I get my cutout tool, changes the window. I'm going to select lasso and then again click keep. And now I'm going to meander to select, creating that pattern that I see around the outside edge of the flower. Again, trying not to get any of the green in there, but it's it's okay if a little bit gets in there because it's going to be so integrated into the scene anyway. You're really not going to see it that much. Here's the three little dots that take me to the layer settings. 
And here's the blend mode that will allow me now to integrate that picture into the background scene. And as you might see, you'll start to develop a repertoire of blending modes that you like. There again is color dodge, which kind of goes with the theme that I see here. Hard light it is actually kind of nice. I'll go with hard light this time. And again, I could, oops, I could get uh, my selection tool and move that off to the side like that. So that's actually pretty neat looking. Okay. Last image, photo. Uh, let's see, another flower here. I'll go with one of these black and white photos and see what I get from that. Oops. Let me try to find it. And, and again, this is actually looking pretty cool too. Uh, I could even just put a blending mode on that or to, to use the photo as it is. Same size, but to stick with the theme here, I'm going to now click on this image and I have to move it to the top. You see, I'm having trouble grabbing it because it's not on the top. So click the corner, drag it down, move it back up. Click in the corner, drag it down, moving it back up until I get it the size I need so that I can make the adjustment. Or, excuse me, my selection. Here's the cutout. I'm going to click lasso, click keep. And now I'll go ahead and make my selection. You should see the green dotted line. If it's red when you're doing it, it's going to remove the item that you're selecting. So you want to make sure that line is green. And do the best you can to make a, an accurate selection. Great. Now go to my layer settings again. Click on the mode and go ahead and look around for my next. Ooh, pretty screen. Okay, screen looks pretty neat. Screen. I like that little pink. It's bold. It sticks out. Okay. Uh, still screen. I, I think I'll think of screen. That's interesting. That disappears. And each hard light or screen. And hard light or school. Yeah. Okay. Difference. Difference happens to be one of my favorite. And you'll see that you might develop a repertoire of blending modes that you like as well. I'm just going to kind of arrange this in a certain way without having it in the middle of the whole scene, but yet integrating with the rest of the pictures like that. And uh, go like that. There. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. And now I'll save it. Okay, I'll call this flame painter underscore flower. I think this is my ninth one. It's a JPEG. And I'll click download and down it goes. And there you have it, everybody. I can extract an image from its background by using the lasso selection tool. And then using the blending modes to get the image to mix in with the pictures below in the other layers. Well, that's our Faticast for today. Tune in next time.